Hi there, Link Rick's Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. So I just want to go through some colour shaders in Arnold to change the colours of some donut sprinkles. There is this written tutorial if you want to follow along uh, with the scene files. I'll put links in the description. Okay, so we've got a simple Taurus donut scene here with some sp sprinkles. The magenta at the moment because they don't have a shader, so I'm just going to stack them all and assign a new standard surface to them. Uh, rename that sprinkles. So the quick and easy way to randomly change the colours is to use a colour jitter shader. And then assign that to the base colour. And then in the colour jitter, change the type to object and give it a input colour. And increase the hue max and then we've got some random colours. There's another way we can do this which gives us a bit more control and that's using the utility shader so just connect the utility shader to the base color and just change the shade mode to flat because we just want color without any shading and uh, change the color mode to object so object mode uses the name of the shapes to compute the color there is also another mode called object id so object ID mode uses the ID parameter shapes to compute the color. So if, for example, we wanted to just change the color of this particular sprinkle here, go to the Arnold attributes and give it an ID number. See now that particular sprinkle has changed its color. If we use the same ID for that one, you should notice it's the same color. Okay, so that's the utility shader. We've also got the random shader. Connect that to the base color. Connect the utility into the color. Let's change the type to color and then drag the utility onto the color. And then we've got a seed value here so we can cycle through. Press control drag. We can cycle through those and get different random colors. There's also a grayscale mode there. There's also the composite shader. So we can use this shader to mix in another color using a, a blend mode. So to the color, base color, utility into B. And then if we change the operation to something like multiply, we you can see that the A color is multiplying the B color. So we can change this and get different variations of the same color or similar colors. There's also the color convert. So we can change it from RGB to HSV, hue saturation value. That's the original RGB and that's HSV. And finally, there's the color correct shader, which gives you a lot more control of the, uh, the appearance of the color image. So we can change the gamma, we can cycle the colors through using the hue shift. I could desaturate them, increase the saturation, and so on. And we could also multiply the color like we did with the composite shader, so we could composite. We can multiply the color there. You can see color correct gives you a lot more control of the color. Okay, so that's introduction to some of the color shaders in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.